Now you can easily create web pages using Notepad, but in the computer labs you'll find a program on the desktop called PSPAD, and I've opened it up right here. So I've got PSPAD open, and I actually still have Notepad open, so I'm going to close Notepad. And I just changed, I just made some changes by modifying where the text looks, so I'm going to hit save. Now in PSPAD, it looks a little complicated, but it's just a simpler way to write HTML because it'll color highlight the tags for you. Now PSPAD is a free program that you can download. Just Google search PSPAD and you'll be able to download it. But it is included in all of the computer labs on campus. So what I can do is I can actually go to File and I can start by creating a new file. And you'll get this window that pops up that allows you to select the type of file you're going to create. Now all of these files are actually just text files. But if I click on HTML as my chosen text format, then I can click OK. And you'll see that I automatically get a default web page, including some tags, and the tags are color-coded for me. So I have some tags here, the HTML is in purple, the angle brackets are in uh, black, and I do see that there are some other tags here. You can see the meta tag, name equals generator in this particular case. We're going to look at the structure of an HTML tag and how we have the name of the tag, which is meta, and then we also have attributes for the tag, and the attributes have values, so the value of the name attribute is generator. And we'd always enclose the values of these attributes in quotation marks. Now this is a pretty simple web page, but I actually don't even need all that. So I delete all that, and I can hit Control V, because I had originally pasted everything in from my original web page. It was still copied to the clipboard. So I'm actually just going to add some blank space into this web page to make it a little bit more readable and easier to see. And I'm going to even change this, and I'll be able to make this say, my first web page. And we're going to save this back to the web, uh, back to the hard drive. And I can choose File, Save, or Control S. And again, back into my HTML1. It's actually the same thing as sample.html, so I'll just overwrite it. And now I can go back to my web browser. And you can easily switch to your web browser by hitting Alt-Tab, or if you're in uh, Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you can hold uh, the Windows button and pressing Tab, and it allows you to switch back and forth between Windows very nicely. So these are all the different Windows that I have on my computer. Now, I had originally already had this sample file open, but I've made changes to it. And one of the things that we'll, uh, we'll learn with HTML is that this page was saved onto the hard drive, as sample.html, and then I loaded it into memory inside the browser window. So now that I'm looking at this web page, it still says title of page at the top. This is my old copy, which I had loaded into memory, so I have to reload or refresh the page. So in your any major web browser, Firefox, IE, Safari, if you press F5 or click the refresh button, then the web page will reload off the hard drive, and you can see now that the title has been changed. And that's the process we're going to be doing as we go through the web page. I'm using PSPAD in this case, so I can Alt-Tab back into PSPAD. And I can add another word up at the top here. I can say, welcome to my web page. And I save it by hitting Control-S or File Save. And then I can Alt-Tab back to my web browser. And then I hit refresh or press F5, and I can see the results of my changes that I made to my web page. It's as simple as that. That's how you make a web page that's viewable on your computer locally. If you wanted to put web pages up on the internet for other people to see, you have to transfer them to a web server, and you need an ISP account, which you normally have to pay for. So we're not going to be doing that in this course.